Uh, so in my last video, I showed everybody what I kind of take in my everyday carry, which is not normally what I share on my channel, but um, I am an advocate of trying to be as prepared as possible. So uh, I did mention that I would go through a little bit of my car. Um, so the bus, you can see in the background. <laughs> um, but my car is pretty important to me, obviously. I drive pretty far to and from work. So one way is about 120, maybe 130 kilometers. Um, so I want to be as prepared as I can in case something happened on the highway or I got stuck or stranded or what have you. So I'm gonna go through what I have in my car. Um, again, this is just what I feel safe carrying and it makes me feel comfortable. Uh, you do not have to do this. Um, maybe you'll get some ideas, maybe you won't. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would share it with you. So let's get into it. So up here on my visor, I have one of those visor covers and I just carry a pen and a Sharpie. And then I have a lighter. This is actually a window breaker. Um, so that, and a seatbelt cutter. And this is just a spare spoon with a whistle on it. Um, so that's what I have on that side. Going to this side in the little pocket, um, I just have some local coupons for stores that we have. I have a Mylar blanket, some wipes, and then some glasses cleaners. Again, I have some more hot pads and then another one of those little travel urinal things if you ever needed one. Um, I find this really handy and I actually use it all the time and have to replace uh, the wipes especially. Sometimes I have to use them even to clean off my headlights. Had to do that the other day traveling from basketball. Down in the center console, of course, everybody has like change and things. I have a Bluetooth speaker because my uh, stereo stopped working and I'm way too cheap to even look into that electronic stuff right now. So um, Bluetooth speaker and a big power bank to power that Bluetooth speaker. Uh, I just keep, you know, things that I use all the time. Some hand sanitizer. There is another lighter in here if ever needed. Just some perfume. Uh, definitely use this Carmex all the time. I have Tylenol, I have Advil, I have more hand sanitizer, more hand sanitizer, and uh, Blistex, and then lots of Kleenex. And then of course my Tim's rewards card and any other little rewards cards I have, I just keep there. On the gear shift, I just keep a bunch of hair bands, so that's really handy. Uh, next we'll go into the middle console. Okay, don't judge me. This top thing is just a menagerie of stuff and it's really messy, but I just have some snacks, um, some more Tylenol that I'll probably take out of here and put somewhere else, some hauls, lots of ketchup, because one of my kiddos really likes ketchup if we go through a drive through and sometimes forget. Um, just glasses cleaner, some spare female products and hair elastics. But we'll go into the deep part next. So this part, I have another perfume that once this one's done, this will come out and go in there. Uh, Kleenex, always, always have Kleenex absorbing. These are patches, there's two in each pouch. They're super handy and actually had to rip one open the other day, so very useful. Uh, and then I have this Maxpedition fatty, which we'll go through in a minute. Down in the bottom is just spare cords, um, pens, more uh, Kleenex, and then a whole roll of Toonies in case I need that for parking. Okay, so in this Maxpedition fatty package, I of course carry um, dog hair from my dogs. It's inevitable that that will come with me wherever I go. There's hot packs in here. Everybody complains that these pouches are really hard to get into, which they are, so those are just hand warmers. <clears throat> when I open this up, um, just a few things that I might need. I don't always use all this stuff. This is more of a duplicate for many things that I have on me, but it's always nice to know that it's here and it's organized. It's not just dumped into this big uh, middle dump pouch. So um, this is a spare key ring, but it's also paracord. So it's nice to have. There's some spare gloves back here. Then there's some more um, Dayquil and some Tums and Reactin. I have those towels that you just add water to and they expand and then more Kleenex. I also have another, um, this is good for cutting open boxes and stuff at work. This is a pen. It also has a glass breaker on it. 
um, spare cords for all my devices and another lighter, but this one's wrapped in uh, Gorilla Tape. This you'll see in the back when I show you some of the stuff in the back, it's one of those grocery bags that just opens up. So it's really, really handy. I use those all the time. Um, just water purification. This is more if I got stranded somewhere. Uh, it's kind of an everything pouch. I've got hand sanitizer again. Um, way, means to start a fire. I've got toothbrushes, garbage bags. There's a bunch of first aid back here. Um, this is, there's two cloth masks here. I've got some gloves, um, band-aids in this Ziploc, just lots of little things, and this flashlight. I think that's about it in this pouch. So next I'll take you to the backseat organizer. Before we do that, this is my door panel. So I just keep sunglasses in here. There's, I've got two pairs of prescription sunglasses. There's one down there and one right here. Kleenex straw, Gatorade, and my badge for work. So in my back seat, sometimes I take this down, um, but this is just a curtain because I actually can fold these two seats down really quickly. And that's like a mattress. Don't mind the window covers, but um, that's a mattress that just flips open. And then there's a pillow and a, an army surplus sleeping bag. I can actually sleep in this car. <laughs> so if ever stranded, I would be uh, pretty safe. Um, floating around right now not sure what I'm gonna do with this I just have a first aid kit <clears throat> but here is my sort of gear loadout on the back seat so I'm gonna move this seat ahead a bit and then I'm gonna take you through what's in these okay so here's the whole setup um, we'll start with this top pouch I actually find this really handy just having this little cheap lantern on here because when I am in the car if I'm sleeping like car camping in this I just have to turn it on and it's got two different um, levels and it actually just stays there and it lights up the back really, really nicely. So in this top pouch is actually just like a hygiene pouch. So again, feminine products. I have toothbrushes, um, flossers, dude wipes, more contact lenses, uh, deodorant ball, toothbrush, um, scope, extra Ziplocs more Kleenex of course and then more wipes and there's actually big shower wipes right here um, and there's the toothbrush for the toothpaste uh, so this organizer these are all mollied on but obviously there's like a deep pouch that goes way down in here so I carry some I just have some tent stakes in there in case I need to put up a tarp I have some work gloves I also if I can get it out well, I have a survival bag, which are really handy. I like to take this kayaking with me because it's in a waterproof bag. But I have a Yuko uh, candle lantern with extra candles down in here. So that's really handy if I was ever stranded on the highway and it would give off a little bit of warmth for me. So um, that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. I do have a collapsible cup with a little lid on it. So we'll go into this pouch. <clears throat> this one gets raided a lot in my car, um, especially with kids. So there's two more grocery bags, which I have, um, but this is basically the snack pouch. So there's usually a chocolate bar or two and some pepperoni sticks, but the pepperoni sticks need to be resupplied. So there's a Snickers, um, just some gum, chocolate covered nuts, hot chocolate, uh, some other snacks and various drink mixes. And then these are like wooden utensils that are just disposable. So onto this pouch at the bottom, this is actually one of those ones you can take off and put it around your waist as like a fanny pack. So this one's pretty much got um, just stuff that I wouldn't use as often, but are definitely emergency uh, situation uses. So there's a water bag, there's water tabs, I've got more hot packs, another mylar blanket, um, a stove with, it's like an Esbit stove, but it's just the, the cheaper version. Um, extra gloves, <clears throat> and I think, yes, wipes down in here as well. So that's just sort of a safety pouch. In the front pocket of this one, I have another lighter hand sanitizer. These are matches, more dog bags, fire starter, silk hockey. I actually have some candles 
and then some tape. Uh, in this side, I just keep a bunch of little tools. So there's a pair of scissors. There's this cutest little pair of vice grips. Um, there's a flashlight right here. And then there's also a pocket bellows that I just threw in there. And then in this pocket is just more of those little tablets that you add water to and they get larger. And then a little tiny Ziploc with some super glue in it. I actually had to use super glue the other day. Here I have one of my um, lanterns, which is really handy. Just strapped here with some paracord if ever needed. I also have a mossy oak uh, multi-tool. It's just a cheap version, but it's um, pretty handy. And then we'll go into this pouch. Gosh, I have a lot of lighters. <laughs> That's funny. Um, and I have a tea light. In here is just a whole bunch more of those hot packs for your hands. I just find that they're very, very useful. And then this is just a bag of emergency blankets. So often I'm traveling to basketball um, tournaments with lots of kiddos and I just want to make sure that we feel safe or as prepared as possible. This is my first aid kit, so I'm gonna take it off and then I'll show you what's inside. Okay, so that first aid kit just um, Velcros onto this patch that is mollied onto the actual seat belt or the seat cover. Um, so it's quick rip away, which is really handy. On the outside of it, I just have a tourniquet um, strapped there. So this is the first aid kit. Uh, just opens up like so. Uh, I just put this together myself. I'm probably missing things. Um, happy to hear if you think I should have something else in here. Just let me know. Um, just a card with various tapes on it. I also have alcohol spray, uh, a set of shears, some glow sticks. This is some hydrocortisone cream. Again, don't ridicule me for having so many hand warmers. Um, <laughs> uh, this is a heat wrap another mylar blanket again and then there's ice pack in the back um, and some masks back there so um, that side is done this side this little pocket opens and I just have spare medications there's some burn gel some sw alcohol swabs um, more of those towels and then I've got Tums and Rolaids um, and lots of Tylenol and Advil in there again Kleenex uh, peroxide I've got some Halls uh, suckers, more antibiotic ointment. This is like KT tape, so for pulling any muscles or anything, and then a spare set of gloves. Okay, judge away. I'm going to show you the back. Um, so this is actually that mattress. So these are window covers. So if I'm camping, I can just put these up on all the windows. I do have a shovel there, but this again is that mattress. So it just simply flips forward. There's the pillow. There's the blankets, and that's the um, army surplus bag. This is just basically extra clothing, food. If I ever got stranded on the highway, this is my get home bag if I needed to leave the car. And these are my recovery boards for the car. And then of course my spare fluids back there. And I have um, also emergency flares and things in that black bag back there. So that's the back end. So hopefully this gives you some ideas. My car is not huge. It's a 2018 Ford Escape. So just a little car. Um, this again is what I carry to make myself feel safe because of the distance that I travel. Um, I work 12 hour shifts. I work nights. I work days. So I just need to feel comfortable knowing that um, whoever is with me and myself can be as safe as possible uh, on the highways. So hopefully this video gets put together well and you like it. Um, please do comment and subscribe um, and also leave me some ideas of what you think I'm missing. I, I would love to hear if there's something else I can put in here. Uh, I realize there's quite a bit of redundancy, but again, that's what makes me feel comfortable. So. Um, happy to share this with you. If it gives you ideas, great. Uh, again, I hope you all have a great day. And um, this is my car EDC, basically. So take care and I will talk to you in my next video.